boring old beans. Again. Hi guys, Digital Demon here again, and welcome back to the bunker and the back of Adam Brown's head. We had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of exposition in the last episode. And in this episode, we have to go and find the fuse box located on level 2, trying to remember about the man from what was in the manual in the last game. So we checked out our locker at the end of the last episode. Let's go and see what holds out. We're taking Mum with us. Now, that doesn't sound as strange as it is if you've seen the last episode. Oh, we're seeing it through the cameras. Uh, we have, if we go in here, little toys. These were his friends because Ad uh, Adam Brown's character, John, grew up in... A bunker environment in the threat of nuclear war. My fav favourite toy that I made took ages. The make the air to make the Aries. Oh, my eyes are terrible, guys. My eyes are absolutely terrible. Right, uh, we've got two doors, so let's have a look at this one that's closest to us first. Room one. I have a feeling things are about to uh, to. Set the ball rolling for the game, guys. Oh, this is Mum's room. Um, oh, we need. To, yeah, we do actually need to locate the replacement fuses. So, what's in here? Some of my old drawings. Why were you drawing guns? Or oh, is this the soldier? And a rocket ship to the moon. A fish. That's it. Okay. Nothing else in there? No? What about the next drawer down? Stuff! Anything interesting? Oh, what's this? Key. Yes, the key will be useful. The key. Now I have to leave. Oh, yes, because he said he, he doesn't leave his room. Uh, he'll be safe as long as he stays in the rooms. And this is the first time he's had to step outside. This is also why we haven't seen any other characters. So the other characters might be alive. Nothing in there? No? I can't use anything in there. Oh, okay, okay. Just hammer the point home. Why not? Okay, so... She liked it when I read to her. Yeah, we got that impression. Okay, so we'll... Oh, bit glitchy on the camera. Don't worry, that's not the recording, guys. That is actually in the game. It's quite a cool effect, actually. I quite like that. I'd... Okay. Press... Yeah, come on, then. Oh, hang on. No, I have the key. How do I use it? Hello? Oh, hang on. Oh, I've... Okay. Yep, that's uh, Mum's voices echoing in our head. Right, that's understandable. Is he having a panic attack? His brow is sweaty. His vision doubled. Tripled. Come on, John. Here we go. That's it. You muster it up and you unlock the door. So now he's just as blind in this area as we are. So there's, we're on level one. We need to go presumably down to level two. There's voices. Are they real voices or are they in his head? Here we go. White screen. Oh, he used to play with his toys here. Oh. Oh. Moody. And I've taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it over. out. Fourteen months, at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Dr. Hart. On bare minimum, we might make fourteen. And bare minimum means? 
I didn't like to press him, but scurvy, rickets. Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. <sighs> Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One whiff of this and you'll have your throat slit over the last tin of peaches. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? Fighting over scraps? We could just cut your wrist now and the rest of us will split your rations. Chin up, man. It's ten minutes until the next bulletin. Okay. So, from when... Well, that was clearly we were 30 years later, so something's happened. If we only had enough food to last, last us 14 months at the absolute most, and it's 30 years later. Well, not from that point, but... Right, and they still got 27 years of food left. It gives you the impression someone's watching, doesn't it? So we're on level 2, so we will need to go this way. I'm not going to explore any further for now, because I assume we're going to get the point to explore later on. Our loading screen. Failure? Level 2. Failure of what? Um, have I failed to do something? Is that it? Is that game over already? Okay. It's dark in here. And... Nothing seems to be interactable. Presumably I've got to go back then and find some sort of light. Find a light switch, yes. Oh, there it is. So I couldn't go back, which was odd. He just said, I need to find a light switch. So he did go outside the rooms. So, uh, hmm. Commodore. I bet a lot of people watching this don't know what a Commodore is. Right, what's this? Regional reports, medical reports, personal log, MISC. Okay, so this is just information about different characters. Okay. Oh, sorry, that's different areas. Medical reports, different people. Okay. We don't know what Mum's name was, so presumably what the, she's one of them. I would assume it's the bottom one, not where it says death of unknown, cause of death unknown, auto, uh, autopsy inconclusive, which is slightly worrying. Okay. And misc. Things I miss. <laughs> okay. Right, so that's not much use. Anything else? Ah, is that a fuse box I spy over there? Let's have a look at this on the communication from Bunker HQ Site Three, Corsham, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in. Shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? Trust me, you get sent to this sardine tin. Prime Minister unsatisfied with living accommodation. Twat. <laughs> Other. Civilian casualties noted outside bunker. Group of 50 attempted to breach rear exit blast door. Aggressive action not required. Activity ceased after blast. Poor bastards. Yeah, and you've also played Hangman at the bottom there. 
which is not very professional. Well, it's not professional writing on uh, your personal comments on a uh, an official document, I suppose. But hey ho, I'm not one to judge. Games of Hangman must have got dull quickly. They're quite dull to start with. How many letters? Five. Oh, it's got a B in it. It's beans. Okay. That's, well, that's, that's clearly the fuse box. What else is interactable? Doors. I don't think I want to go anywhere else yet. I don't know how much this rewards um, exploration. Radiation warning map. Okay. We still, so we don't. We need to. And um, presumably, we're going to be finding out what happened to everyone in the bunker. Oh, it's ah, okay. It's the uh, the way to where presumably the fuse box is. Anything useful in here? Anything? Because we do need the fuse, the uh, the replacement fuses. No. Only open one drawer at a time. That's usually how filing cabinets work. It's like a locking mechanism in them otherwise. Final discs. No music today for John. Okay, is that it? Anything else? So, let's go. That was very lightly lit at least. Okay. So I should make the announcement. To who? <laughs> I suppose he's just following regulations, so I presumably I have got to go through one of these doors. So I need to find But if anyone else is in there with you Okay, we'll explore more of his With past. The greatest respect, sir. We've been up all night. It's been ten minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is I've... it radiation? I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under ten tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. Difficult. We'll run some tests. See the doctor who delivered us. Showing signs. Yes, six others. Quarantine them. Right away. Oh, what, what? Find out where they were working. I, I don't know what that was. What they've had contact with and what they've been eating. I don't even know if I hit it. We need a source. Margaret. It's alright, come here, love. Well, presumably that was to continue hiding and we've been... What's the matter? I can't sleep. It's alright. You know if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. A bit of tick. Is that our mother? She looks very young. I don't like it here. I don't think you're supposed to, but there's the intercom. So should we check the other door before here? Beforehand. An empty locker. That's not empty. Quite clearly had a jumper in it. Let's have a look at the monitors. I don't like it here. All switched off. Can we switch any of them on? Oh, we can switch this one on. Okay, what's going to flash across the screen? Anything? Hello? No? Okay. How do I go back? Switch them off. Well, I suppose it uses power, doesn't it? We don't want to uh, be wasting power. I've I don't like it here. Yeah, you keep saying that, John. But I'm exploring. Oh! No one likes this one. Oh, have I missed one, then? Is that what failure was about? Sort of finding all these toys? Have I Did I miss... 
Did I miss the toy? What's in this one then? Blackness. Okay, so it's like a meeting schoolroom type esque thing. AB welcomes. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks the committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern. No need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. Calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. CB reiterates appointed hierarchy and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Requests end to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. CB says vote will be ignored. Not a democracy. Meeting ended. That's depressing. So they had morale issues, which to be fair, you would. As well, don't know why it didn't say that. Um, ooh, should I, why is this continuing? Is there something else? Hello, hello. I wonder if you leave it and something happens. I might be something to experiment for now, uh, but for now we'll stop that and we'll have a look at this. So they suspect a leak, but Bishop, the guy in charge, doesn't seem to. Uh, he doesn't want everyone to panic, so he's keep. We, we, well, we heard first hand that he's uh, hiding stuff from people. So, okay, so this is the ah, this is our radiation level. Okay, so we're currently here. Presumably, we're going to be building up to here. Which won't be good. Is this a map? Well, let's say, for example, the hit on Reading was one megaton. That would mean we have this radius, only halfway to Basingstoke. Now, maybe that looks small, but that's around 100,000 fatalities. Maybe 80,000 injuries from the blast and the fireball. That's just to start with. Prevailing wind direction here is northeast. Fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely to drift all the way out past Cambridge, past Norwich even, out to sea. The total number of casualties? Unimaginable. And that's one bomb. One bomb on Reading. What did you guys do, Reading? Okay. Um, we should make the announcement, shouldn't we? I'm tempted to go back for see if I can find that missing toy, but um, 
if it's important I'll, I'll add it in if I can later on. For now let's make the announcement. Let me switch on the computer. Worrying brown residue. Okay, that, that isn't good. Hmm. I'm not liking this bishop guy. Then again, I suppose you're not supposed to. Okay. I'm just quickly scanning these guys. If you want to have a, a thorough read through, have a read through yourself there. God save the Queen. Okay. Let's make the announcement to the people who aren't here, possibly one who's trying to kill us. Say no, probably. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Was that the announcement? Oh, what's this? Oh, we've got one of those things like in uh, Layers of Fear. I thought that was their... Uh, okay. When it said read in the corner, I thought... Because they've all been read out that. I'll be quiet. So make the announcement then. You've tested... Attention. The mains power is about to be switched off for maintenance purposes. You should always repeat your messages if they're that important. That. Right, okay. So, let me go back. I don't like the sound of that. How do I go back? Ah, there we go. I'm back again. So what beasties have we un uh, announced our presence to? Plus, if there is a leak... That door wouldn't stop the radiation coming in and getting John, but then again, John's radiation is going up. But now he's entered this area. I'm expecting a jump scare. Was this on here before? Must have been. Right. You have no idea what you're doing, John. Don't worry, neither do I. We'll, we'll model through it together. I know how my fuse box works. That's about it. Right, so these are presumably the replacement fuses. Here's the replacement. That's a big fuse. <laughs> I suppose for a military bunker it would have to be. Okay, anything else interactable? Ah, these. Don't we need to switch off first? No? Uh. How do we know which is the bad one? This one's sort of sticking out That's a bit. The damaged one. Oh, well there we go. Well, if you're just looking at it. I need to turn the power off. I know you need to turn the power off. I tried. I should turn the power off first. Yes, you should. Right, so that's the damaged one. How do you switch the power off? What's this up here? Ah, is that the power? Aha! Okay. So, drag that over there. I need to turn it. That's a bad move, John! That's a real... damaged fuse. Yeah, quick... I hear something thudding as well. Quickly now, John. Quickly, quickly. Yeah, put the new one in. Wait ten seconds. Wait ten seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Oh, I'm doing it. What's going to be behind us? Will it be Bishop?
something's gonna happen. Okay, now do we just go back. Quickly now. Back again. What's that horrible noise? It's the beasties. Can we go down here now? Oh. There is beasties as well. Oh, he's, does he suffer from vertigo? I have to go. That sounds like a dog or something. So, okay, why is it zoomed in on us? Someone's watching us most definitely now. Oh dear. Oh dear. Plot. Plot has happened. Lock the door, 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 lock the door. He didn't lock the door. And what, are you rushed in to check on your mum? Loading. Oh dear. Something has happened. Something has happened. Place right. views of all systems check. We've done that. Your mum's gone, though. Oh, this wasn't that room, was there? Right, okay, well, to find out what's happened, we're going to have to wait till the next episode. Things are happening, plot's happening, and we've only found one of our friends, even though all our friends are here. Are we finding additional friends? I don't know. This is shaping up to be rather interesting, I think, don't you feel? I'm the Digital Demon, this is The Bunker, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you later. Bye!